Lacey Green here for D News. We are here at the Yerba Buena Ice Center in San Francisco, and I'm here with Don, who is a figure skating coach who I hear is double master rated. That's correct. Awesome. So you're going <laughs> to teach me a few moves today. We're going to be talking a little bit about the physics of figure skating. I think probably the best way to start off is with the basic edges. And you're talking about the edges on my skates. I am, right? yes. The a lot blade. of people don't realize that the, the bottom of the blade is not flat. It's actually hollowed out. So it's a little bit of a U shape. Okay. So if you were to look down the blade, you would see a hollowed out place, and that's what gives us the different edges and gives us the grip on the ice. So what we're trying to get is to have the body leaning towards the center of the circle that we're making, slightly leaning so that okay. we're on one edge. And we're just gonna hold that position for now. So we're gonna go push, toe to heel, and hold that outside edge. <laughs> Now when we're doing edges consecutively down the line one after the other, mm -hmm. we also have to add an arm move in. Oh dear. So we would wait to the halfway point of our half circle, switch the arms, and bring the foot in front for the next push. So we'd be alternating feet that way. Right. There you go, there you go. Good. So this is Kiara. So she's gonna be doing a spiral, and she's going to be riding on the left outside edge. And you can see the lean into the circle. That was nice. Do you want to try a backward outside spiral? We're working with angular momentum uh -huh. and we're, we're using uh, force. So we're creating force through the big muscles between the, the knee and the hip joint. Mm -hmm. That's where the force is created. And then we're transferring the force through the lower part of the leg and the ankle joint. And we're pushing onto a circle. So we're creating angular momentum. As you bend the ankle more and the edge tightens up, your blade actually starts to move faster across the ice. Okay. And so that's the next principle that when we get into spinning, that's what's creating our rotational momentum before we start a spin. Awesome. So when she was spinning, we saw she got faster and then she came out a little bit and slowed down. How does that work physically? Well, what happens is once she creates the rotational momentum on the entry edge mm -hmm. and then she starts the spin, the only force that's really acting on her there at that point is friction mm -hmm. of the blade against the ice. Okay. So she pulls her arms in and lowers them, and she pulls her free leg, that's the one not on the ice, in closer to the axis of rotation. So what that, that's doing is decreasing the moment of inertia, which is increasing the rotational velocity. Right. So then when she comes up, she opens up the body parts, which increases the moment of inertia, which decreases the rotational velocity, which allows her to push out of the spin in a nice right. controlled manner. This is Ashley Clark, who is joining us now. She's another professional skater here at the Yerba Buena Ice Ring, and she's going to demonstrate some jumps for us now. I mean, jumps are just spins in the air, back right. spins in the air. Right. And once you're in the air, the principles of projectile motion take over. Okay. So basically, you launch yourself in the air, and you're now a projectile. Okay. What does that mean? That sounds scary. Projectile. <laughs> well, a, a projectile is, is any object moving through the air where the only force acting on it is gravity. And so jumps occur on a parabola. Uh -huh. which means they're symmetrical on the way up and symmetrical on the way down. Okay. I hear you have one final doozy for us. We do. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I am the so ready. <laughs> is it, it's called the backflip. This is a backflip. The grand backflip. <laughs> it is not allowed in competitive skating. Oh. Um, it's actually considered an illegal move, but in show skating, okay. it's always a crowd pleaser, and Ashley is really good at it. So I hear that very few people can actually do that move that you just did for us. Very few women. There's, I believe at this point in day, I'm the fourth woman in the world. In the world! Thank you so much, all you talented people, for showing us your skills today. This has been so exciting and awesome. And for everyone else at home, thanks so much for joining us on this little adventure. Hope you enjoyed yourselves as much as we did. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, at DNews, on Twitter, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.